What is this weird thing Robin's doing with that bat? Hmm. I need a phone. I need a phone. I need a phone. I'm too big. That'll work. All right. Hello, is this the Vintage Composer? Hey man, it's Scott at Studio Stalos Reindeer. Yeah, hey, I've got a question for you. Vintage Composer, does that mean you curate vintage cards and stuff? Or does it mean you're like a really old guy that likes composing? It sure beats being a vintage decomposer, am I right? <coughs> yeah, I know, the terrible jokes are supposed to be at the end of the video. Yeah. All right, here's where I try to sell you a 2001 Topps American Pie Robin Yount card for too many monies. Like one million dollars. And then you say no, and I counter with $40, and you say no, and I offer to throw in a marker doodle, and then you agree. So, you agree then? Awesome, that was easy. All right, thanks, Mike. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. So today we're drawing the kid, but not like Gary Carter the kid because I already drew him. And not like Ken Griffey Jr. because nobody's asked for him yet. And I'm just now realizing this and that blows my mind. But Robin Yount, the kid. Sounds good, Mr. The Kid. Who I always remember as kind of an old guy, but he started playing as a spry teenager in the mid 70s. Uh, and kids don't have mustaches and Robin here had a good one. Maybe he should have just been called Robin Young. Or maybe that sounds like he's robbing young people and nobody likes guys that steal candy from babies. Although what's a baby doing with candy anyway? And I went off the rails super quick today, my apologies. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Mike, uh, the vintage composer, reached out and asked me to do a Robin Yount marker doodle, and I like Mike. Mike's a good dude who tells some great stories, and he knows a lot of interesting stuff, unlike me, who just makes stuff up half the time. And I really kind of like Robin Yount because he's a superstar who played for a small market Midwest team, and he wore number 19 because he really likes Bernie Kozar, just like me. And might have made that last part up, but uh, he was a guy with a great 20-year career, all in Milwaukee, 3,000 hits, and a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's the greatest player in Brewers history, and he had some differences with the team here and there, but I just love a guy with so much loyalty to one franchise. Loyalty. Weird nickname. Maybe he was Mafia. Okay, I'm going to stay on track. Or instead of being a Milwaukee talkie, I'm just going to shut my trap and let the music play. It is time for that terrible joke. I looked up Milwaukee jokes and this was my favorite. What did the man say to his pet bear after buying her a computer and the computer wouldn't turn on and he ended up calling his cousin who works at the computer company and the cousin came down from Milwaukee to show them how to connect everything to make the computer work? Sorry for the complicated setup. I have this strange obsession with Milwaukee today for some reason. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee. I've never even been there. It just seems like my kind of town, you know? You got Lenny and Squiggy and the Fonz and cheese curds. The Brewers have the coolest uniforms in all of baseball, except you can't convince me that the Brewers belong in the National League. It's AL forever, baby. All right, there's the kid, and I remembered my beauty shot this time. Isn't it beautiful? 
almost as beautiful as Cy here. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card today. Thanks, Mike, for asking me to do this. I am so honored that this is now part of your excellent, excellent Yount collection. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you kids next time.